Yo, what is up guys, this is Beast 34 Gaming, bringing you another simulation slash rebuild video. You guys really seem to like this this video, Wait, I see where I gotta be pointing here. You guys really seem to like this video, the JJ Watt simulation at the time of recording. It is just short of 300 views. I really appreciate you guys liking that video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure you guys go check it out because it is a massive banger of a video. And I expect this to be nothing short of that either. So today, if you guys cannot tell from the thumbnail, we are going to be simulating the National League West Division. Now I downloaded a current roster, you know, update vault. So the Padres have Blake Snell, Tatis, Clevenger, Paddock, Yu Darvish, Keone Kala, Emilio Pagan, Tim Hill, Joe Musgrove. The Giants have Buster Posey. They haven't really made many moves. They have Tommy Westella, Alex Wood. The Dodgers have Trevor Bauer. All those guys, they Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, Cody, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Colorado Rockies do not have Nolan Arenado. The Rockies haven't really gained anything, and neither have the Diamondbacks or Giants from really what I've, I've been able to tell. Besides La Stella, that's been about it. So we're, I have taken control of all four, or all five teams, and we're going to simulate, to, first of all, to the regular season, and make sure that we are in the right place. And then we are going to simulate a season's worth of time to see what happens when these new teams go head-to-head -head in the 2021 projected season. So viewing the Padres here, we are simulating until draft day. The Padres uh, just a tad above 500, but they are kind of barely holding on here. They uh, beat the... I cannot speak today. They get swept by the Dodgers. They beat the Cardinals and then beat the Dodgers in the series. And then, they, oh my God, Chicago is not being kind to them. 28 and 22 though. Twins acquire Glasnow from the Rays. So uh, another Rays pitcher leaves Tampa Bay. So the Rays might be in a, in a whatchamacallit era, in a rebuild era. So at the draft day break, the Giants are 29 and 32. The Padres are 35 and 27. The Rockies are 30 and 30. The Arizona Diamondbacks are 27 and 34, and the Dodgers are 40 and 20. So therefore, by the looks of it, the Dodgers, the Padres, the Rockies, the Giants, and the Arizona Diamondbacks all going absolutely off anyone on the injured list. So it just looks like a pitcher, pitcher. Oh my god, so many people are injured here. Let's see. Uh, these are a couple of, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, rookies or something, I believe. Carson Kelly broke his ankle. He'll be out for two to three weeks. Eduardo Escobar out for a couple of weeks with a fractured foot. Chris Devensky out for one to two weeks with a sprained elbow ligament. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Harrison, babe, that is not a team I control. Mackenzie Gore out with an inflamed hit for a couple of weeks. Uh, besides that, no one major. Victor Caratini, I guess, if you want to count him as major. And then Steven Duggar, I'd say, is the biggest one. Or Kirk Casale, maybe, because he's the other catcher bes or, well, besides Joey Bart and Buster Posey. But he broke his arm, and then we got fractured leg, broken hand. So there's a few injuries going around. Buster Posey kind of going downhill here. He's he's trending downward, and overall, he's only batting 236 so far, but Alex Wood appears to be going off with a 1.33 ERA, 8-2 start to the year, 65 strikeouts, only giving up 6 home runs in 13 games. They just need someone else to step up. How about this? Let's see. You Darvish is kind of cold. Let's see here. 339. So he's not doing too bad. 6-4, 81 strikeouts. He's not doing terrible. Chris Paddock, 397 average, okay, or not average, uh, ERA. Keone Kala. Uh, 1.9 ERA, he does have a loss, but he has 21 saves on the season in 24 games, he only blew one save. Emilio Pagan, how's he doing? 2.95 ERA, he's not doing too bad. How many checkouts? 25, he's got no saves though. All of those are going to watch his face. Ha Song Kim, 274 in 57 games, he's doing pretty well. Fernando Tatis Jr., the cover athlete for MLB The Show 21, batting 276. With 15 home runs, 37 RBIs, and 7 stolen bases. And 200 at bats, so that's not that bad either. Manny Machado, the GOAT, going on. I'm just kidding, he's not actually the GOAT. 3.72 ERA, so he's, he's, yeah, he's doing iffy. Uh, 4 wins and 5 losses. Mike Clevenger, he's actually not going to be out, or he's not going to be in for this season, I believe, because he actually has, he's going through Tommy John surgery, so I probably should have accounted for that. 
but he's got a 2.9 ERA. And Tommy Pham, the top guy apparently in San Diego, batting 319 with 9 home runs and 29 RBIs. Trevor Bauer, the newest addition to the Los Angeles Dodgers. 3.23 ERA with 6 wins and 1 loss with 96 Ks on the year. Is he actually leading the league in that? He is third in the National League, I should say. He's third in the er, league. I believe this is all of the league. Actually, I, I might just be... Yeah, so it's just National League. So he's third in the National League in strikeouts. So he's actually doing pretty well. Let's see. Mookie Betts. 326 with 9 home runs and 40 RBIs. Clayton Kershaw. 1.69 ERA with 94 strikeouts. Cody B, belly bombs, 292 with 12 dingers. This team is again, or as always I should say, the team to beat. How is Trevor Story doing? He's apparently not doing well. 259 ERA with 69 strikeouts, nice. Charlie Blackman here, batting 304 for 50 games. He was okay, so he was apparently out for a few of them with 11 bombs. So he's, he's got potential. Apparently CJ Crone went to the Rockies. Was this, did this happen like actually in the season? I did not know this. He's been 249. And then let's see the Arizona Diamondbacks. Cattell Marte, he is hot apparently. 281 ERA, or not ERA, batting average 11 home runs, 30 RBIs, 35 strikeouts with 59 hits in 61 games. So they played a few more games. Madison Bumgarner is apparently cold. 3.86 ERA with a four win, six loss ratio with 63 strikeouts so he's a bit he's underperforming a bit where is cole calhoun cole calhoun he is not really doing much 257 era or why do i keep seeing saying er you know what i'm just gonna stop talking <laughs> gonna sim to the draft here simulate the draft and then we are going to take hold of the rockies simulate simulate to the all-star week and observe what happens then they get they lose the series whoa 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 starling Marte went from the marlins to the yankees in exchange for Chad Green, Jonathan India, and Clark Schmidt. So a couple of future prospects and a whatchamacallit, a current uh, reliever went to Miami. So they're, they're getting stuff going there. Carlisle's trying to trend upward, but they are not doing well. They only get one win against the Padres. I'm keep in mind, but they win the series against the Royals. Win the series against the Twins, which is impressive. Sweep the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're probably the worst team in Major League Baseball. Get swept by Milwaukee. You're practically slept, swept by Milwaukee. I cannot speak. Milwaukee's not doing that good either. That's kind of hard to see. Wow. Dodgers are absolutely running away with the division right now, like usual. Padres are 13 games behind the Dodgers. And, that, and that's not even... That's saying very little because the Padres... Are still one of the better teams in baseball. Like I bet you, if we look at the entire National League or in the American League or National League Wild Card, Padres. Yeah, the Padres are right up there. They're tied with the Mets for the Wild Card. How? Who's leading the National League Central? Brewers are third at the moment, but you know, I I technically am not involved in that because I'm simply focusing on the National League West teams. Are there any National League West people in this derby? No, but Christian Yelich is. Mike Moustakas is. Uh, Trey Mancini, Trey Mancini with the Reds, with the Red Sox. Did Trey Mancini go to the Red Sox? I gotta do some research here. Nothing I saw said that Trey Mancini went to the Red Sox. That must have been an in-game trade that we were not made aware of. Uh, let's continue simulating. We're not gonna simulate the season. Let's simulate to trade deadline prep. And another trade's going through Whit Merrifield to the Athletics for Logan Davidson, Austin Beck, and Taylor Baum. Skip that. All right, so we're checking back in now. 15 games out of first are the Padres. That is unbelievable. They're still 12 games above 500, and yet they're 15 games out of out of the lead. But that's because the Dodgers are such a stacked team. It's almost unfair. Like, what is what is the record for most wins by a team in a single season? I wish they still had Butch McCullough's. Oh wait, MLB records, they still do. Um, single season. Does it not say for a team? I don't think it says for a team. I Okay, so I guess, what is the record for like, most wins by a team in a single season? I wanna look this up. With 116 victories in 2001, the Seattle Mariners hold the record for the most wins in a single, in a 162 game season. 
so the Dodgers could break the record in this simulation if they keep up their winning way. So we are going to actually go over to the Dodgers and continue simulating to contract extensions. And they, are, they almost swept the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And then the Rangers trade Joey Gallo. And I love how the Rangers take Tower Glass now. Or no, the Twins trade for Tower Glass now and then trade him to the Texas along with Jorge Polanco. And now Tower, the fourth team that Tower Glass now has been on this season in a matter of months. That's that's almost wrong. So let's see, they have played a whopping 111 games. So it's not impossible for the Dodgers to break the record. However, they would have to win a majority of their next few games in order to achieve this. Trevor Bauer, how is he doing? Let's see. 2.7 ERA with 12 wins and 2 losses and 168 strikeouts. This guy just doesn't quit. Mookie Betts with a 325 batting average, 17 home runs. So he's not a big home run hitter, but he's, he's getting a lot of hits. 124 hits on the season. That might be a leap. Like a weak leader right there. Joe not far behind him is 121 hits for Cody B with a 294 average, 23 home runs, however. So let's see what the league leaders are. Cody Bellinger is third in the league with 78 RBIs. Anyone? Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin. Who is Patrick Corbin for? I can't remember. Why can't I remember who Patrick Corbin pitches for? Alex Wood has the lowest ERA for and on the Giants? On the worst team? <laughs> that seems weird to me. Tim LoCastro is tied for second in stolen bases. Clayton Kershaw with the most wins. Uh, Trevor Bauer not too far behind him, actually. And so the Dodgers are leading a majority of these categories. But simulate to the September call-ups. We are in August right now. The Dodgers, they would need to win out a majority of their next few games. But they're on a losing streak. Five-game losing streak might have made it impossible for them to win 116 games. Let's see. Let's do the math here. Let's do the math here. What are they? 91 and 48. So 139 games. There are 23 left. It is impossible for the Dodgers to break that record this season. Let's see who's all hurt. AJ Pollock. Justin Turner tore his MCL. And he will be out for... Oh, dang. Christian Yelich. With a 355 batting average, 16 wins for Clayton Kershaw. Are, are the Brewers making a comeback here? Because they got a few things uh, leading the league there. Brewers are second. Cubs are somehow going off without you, Darvish. I don't know how that's a thing. Let's check on the Padres here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Manny Machado apparently going cold. 236 average. He fell off. 107 strikeouts. So he's a big hit or miss guy. Let's see, Fernando Tatis, 245 batting average, 26 home runs, 164 strikeouts. Tatis has fallen off a bit, at least offensively. What's his fielding percentage at? If I can even see that. He's got an 813 OPS, fielding percentage 981, so he's made a few errors. Mike Clevenger, apparently getting hot. 3.58 ERA with 10 wins and 6 losses. 189 strikeouts. Blake Snell is the top performer on the team, apparently. 3.68 ERA, so a bit above. He's not winning as many games, but he's got 100, excuse me, 180 strikeouts. So a lot of potential here. Actually, before I do this, let's see where we are in the National League Wild Card. The Padres fell off. The Padres we need to almost win out their next few. The Brewers are leading the National League Wild Card. So we can only have one team make it to the playoffs in this simulation. So it's coming down to the wire in the next 27 days. There is a lot of games that need to be won by the Padres right now. They would almost need to win out a lot of their series. I'm, I'm simulating a lot of these other things. Come on. I don't care. So many things are popping on my screen. The Diamondbacks have finished the season at 75 and 87. Did not make the postseason. The Rockies did make the postseason. The Dodgers won the division with a 104 and 58 record. Taking on the winner of the wild card playoff game. The Padres finished the season and made the wild card against the Phillies. This is interesting. Giants did not make the squad. So let's see. The Brewers were cut off from the wild card. What happened? The Brewers must have gone on a massive losing streak. 
Unbelievable. Wow. So the Padres and Dodgers are the teams that make the playoffs here. We're going to advance a day. Padres were eliminated from the playoffs by the Philadelphia Phillies. So the Dodgers are the last team standing here. Dodgers won the National League Division Series and will be taking on the Cubs or Mets in the National League Championship Series. And it will be the Cubs. Let's see who's in the American League. The Angels will take on either the Astros or the Yankees. And it will be the Astros. So the it could be the Battle of Los Angeles here, ladies and gentlemen. It could be the Battle of Los Angeles. The Dodgers take a one-game lead. It is now tied between the Cubs and the Dodgers. The Cubs take a 2-1 to one lead. It is now 2-2. Two, two. This could be interesting. 3-2. to two. Can the Dodgers pull off the comeback? The Dodgers were eliminated by the Cubs after losing you, Darvish. The Cubs still found a way to make it to the World Series. And the Cubs will be taking on the Houston Astros. So none of the National League West teams made the postseason in this first year. That is interesting. So let's see who wins the World Series now. Three to three. Cubs in Houston. Who gets the dub? The Cubs defeat the Houston Astros. Wow. The Cubs, again, after losing you, Darvish, somehow find a way to make the playoffs. Who are retired? A lot of, a lot of nobodies. Ian Desmond's not really nobody. Jake McGee. He retired due to ability. Wow. Let's see. So does anyone end up making the Hall of Fame? Robinson Cano and Miguel Cabrera. So Robinson Cano retired with a 303 batting average and 311 batting average for Miguel Cabrera. 488 home runs. So he just missed out on the 500 home run club. Interesting. That is interesting. So as you guys saw, the Dodgers and the Padres were the only teams to make the postseason after simulating this season. And the Dodgers ended up losing in the championship series to the Cubs, who ended up winning the World Series. So they ended up losing to the World Series champions. I hope you guys enjoyed this short simulation. I, I understand it's a short simulation. It'll probably only be like a 10-minute video. But if you guys want me to do more simulations like this with, you know, MLB teams... Um, you know NFL teams even if you guys want me to do NBA teams I don't do a lot of NBA content on this channel it's just not a game that I've always been uh, fond of you know I mean there's it, it's personal preference I guess there's I have nothing against the game it's just I prefer these games over it it's just it's my personal preference but let me know down in the comment section that's what it's good for you know what you guys want to see on the channel that'll help Get content out that you guys can relate to and you guys want to see because that is the way that we can help grow the channel. And speaking of grow the channel, make sure you guys share this video with your friends, share this channel with your friends. Make sure they subscribe and turn on post notifications so they know when I am posting more content like these simulation videos. Again, you guys really seem to like that JJ Watt video. I really appreciate you guys checking that one out. If you guys have not seen that video, make sure you guys go click the link in the description to that video. Again, at the time of recording, it is just short of 300 views that is the most viewed video ever on my channel i really appreciate you guys just clicking the heck out of that video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video again let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see next make sure you leave a like and comment down below again comment what you want to see next subscribe and turn on post notifications and this is beast 4 gaming signing out of today's video